Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to do number five on the FTC General Knowledge Practice Test. This is a great problem to review some core math concepts in geometry. Regardless of what state you're in, whether you're preparing for the FTCs in Florida or you're a teacher in Massachusetts or in California preparing for your teacher certification exam. The content in this uh, problem is going to review some of those common ideas that you might see on your test. So let's take a look. We're given a triangle and it, uh, it has, uh, and we can see the angles. And an important thing you should know about all triangles is that the inside angles of that triangle, or that we call it the interior angles of a triangle, they always add up to 180 degrees. And we're being asked to identify what type of triangle it is. Because it goes some, the question is, you know, it's like completing the statement type of question. It says the triangle, PQR, shown is A, you know, and then we have these options. So really we just need to know what an acute triangle is, a right triangle is, an obtuse triangle is, and what an isosceles triangle is. So let's just draw them and just get a, a feeling for them. An acute triangle is a triangle where none of the angles are greater than 90. They're all less than 90. So this could be an example of an acute triangle. 60, 60, 60. This is actually an equilateral triangle, meaning all the sides and angles are the same. But the idea here um, is just when we just focus on acute, we're just focusing on the angle measurements. And in fact, this type of triangle here has angles that are all less than 90 degrees. So we could, we could classify this triangle as an acute triangle. It also could be classified because all the angles are the same, we could also call it um, an equilateral triangle. All right, uh, let's look at the second one, a right triangle. A right triangle is just a triangle where one of the angles is 90 degrees. So this one here is 90. Let's say this was 45. Uh, oh no, let, let, I don't want to go there quite yet. Right triangle, one of the angles is 90 degrees. This could be 30, this could be 60. Uh, we have a right triangle here um, just because uh, one of the angles is equal to 90. And the, this third one here is the obtuse. This is actually what you're looking at in the diagram. This one here is an obtuse angle because it has one angle that's greater than 90. So an obtuse angle, uh, an obtuse triangle is a triangle that where one of the angles is greater than 90 degrees. Let's say this is 100 degrees and this could be 30 and this could be 50, they still all add up to 180, but this one right here is obtuse because it has one of the angles that is greater uh, than 90 degrees. And then last is in our isosceles triangle. The isosceles triangle, all it is is a triangle where two sides are the same. And what that does is it, it creates, when two sides are the same on a triangle, let's say this is side A, and side A is the same as this side here. What it does is it means that the angles are the same. So let's say I said this was an isosceles right triangle. That means that this would be 90 and that these two angles have to be the same so they're 45 and 45 so they add up to 180 degrees. Well here's an example. This actually is an example of an isosceles right triangle. It's an isosceles triangle because two of the angles and two of the sides are the same and it's a it's a right angle a right triangle because the angle here is at 90 degrees all right so i'll just call this for now this example an isosceles uh, triangle all right remember if it has two angles that are the same two of the sides are going to be the same okay team i hope you found this helpful as a review of different types of triangles uh, definitely uh, make sure you have all the definitions of you know acute, right, obtuse, isosceles triangles. Go through the core math and review your rules for different types of angles and how they uh, add up. Um, this will definitely help you on your exams. All right, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Have an amazing day. Take care. Bye bye. Hi team, I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the Go Math workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful.